Hi everybody, my name is Jason. I'm Caden. I'm Jaden. I'm Ian. And we are the Yahoo and the Torah YouTube channel, Rumble channel, Odyssey, and you will find us out in the middle of the jungle, pretty much all alone, out here with nobody around us. And this is our home, this is our place that we reside, and this is where we invite you guys to pull up a chair next to us that you guys can be part of our little family. And by uh, more than one witness yesterday, um, many people, uh, very here, here's the gig, is uh, let, me, let me explain exactly how our, our lives are around here in this, this place, and maybe, maybe it will shed some light for, for those who are out there. Number one, we have we moved out of the United States, what, 10 years ago, somewhere around there, oh. off into this little part of the jungle. And the little part of the jungle, if you guys have ever seen The Little House on the Prairie, it's that times about 50. So the thing about living in the jungle is we are secluded. We are out far away from everybody else. And whatever happens, happens. If we end up getting hurt... There's no like hospitals. You can't like just go to it. You can't call the the ambulance. You can't just you can't call nine one one. There's no there's no such thing. Um, if somebody ever did come to you, it'd probably be days later. You'd long be dead. But the world that we live into is a very very hostile environment. And um, what we do is we get up every single morning. And before we do this, we're, we're literally at the crack of dawn. A lot of you guys can probably see from the time. At the top is right now 634. So we're up right around six o'clock. And so we always have our morning discussions, usually prior to right before we hit record. And that probably isn't the best idea. It's probably not the, the most cleanest way of doing this. And it probably doesn't bring the greatest um, videos out. But unfortunately, this is the way that we have to run this house. And um, we have we have three young men in this house. They are young young men and some might say a little rebellious some might say amazing young men but every time we have we have some discussions things can get a little heated things can get a little wild and yesterday um one of those mornings happened and we were in a pretty heated discussion prior to us hitting record which again is probably a catastrophic mistake when we do that and so um as we hit record yesterday, I, I, I was very much peeved, like if you could use that word, a little, little hot behind the ears, a little, 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 little uh, I don't know, I got some, uh, I got three teenage boys who I've been blessed with, who I get to uh, work with every single day, and so um, my apologies to anybody out there who thought I was beating the kids senseless, um, that happens after I hit the record. After the record is off, that's when I beat them senseless. So you guys didn't actually hear them beating, being beat senseless here. <laughs> so, um, and no, that's not true either. That was a joke as well. But uh, a lot of people said, one person said I was heartless um, because I was looking over across the table at Jade and he, his face was all drooped down. It looks like he, he had the palsy maybe a little bit, but it was more like the, the B things. Today you look a lot better. You don't look as Quasimoto-ish. Um, things are looking much better. Um, so maybe that will be uh, a reckoning for yesterday's heartlessness. But we have uh, we are we are wild people, and we've told people before. Please, if you're looking for um, like holy people that you're trying to emulate, or the, these you know fixate upon somebody who you think are, are extremely like holy, guys, that's not us. That is not us. We are extremely rugged. We're extremely wild. Uh, extremely boisterous. Um, there's crazy stuff that happens here in this jungle every single day. And it is, it is, you guys would have your jaws dropped if you saw the kind of stuff that we encountered and we had to do every single day. And so it gets wild. And so we're always fighting to live. We're always fighting to, to keep these guys aware of the surroundings that we are in. Because it's not like the concrete jungles that we came from. It's not like the world where I grew up on a farm and things were, were pretty much stable. You know, in, in North America, the, the worst things that can really get you are like rattlesnakes and things of that nature. Um, there's some things that'll get you. But for the most part, um, most of everything out here will completely take you to school. And I found the, um, I found the nest or the, I found the actual bees yesterday that took out Jade. And um, it wasn't a beehive. It wasn't a nest. Um, what got him was uh, these things all seemed to congregate on a giant leaf. Like for whatever reason, I was cutting down in the same area that Jaden was that he got owned in. 
and I look around and there's this there's a, a giant um, bush thing with these huge leaves and the entire leaves were coated with these bees. And so more than likely, Jade uh, did the old machete whack on those things and those things lit up. So I saw them um, and I, uh, I used my machetes and uh, it was probably a sight to see that this big fella runs as fast as he does. But I did take that leaf out and I ran for my life. No bees were uh, able to get me. But that's the jungle life. And so I guess there's no real excuses other than we're just extremely wild. And um, if you guys think that you're looking for, again, like I said, like some sort of holiness, like Boss Clan is like, wow, these people are really, really holy. I, did, weren't, I wouldn't count us as the elite, the elect. I wouldn't count us as more than just some people in the, in the middle of the jungle that are reading scriptures with you all, trying to figure out the path to the kingdom to come. And we are those people who believe that the laws, statutes, and commandments of Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy are good for all time, for all locations, for all for all, everybody. And it is also the gospel inside of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. If you have nine books, you can figure out what salvation is. You don't need the writings of Paul. You don't need the writings of the, the, pro, the prophets. You don't need anyone else. You need the, the Torah, the first five scriptures, first five books of the Bible, and you need the Besora, the good news, what, how Messiah walked and understanding our king and, and the entire setup of, of that. All right, gentlemen, um, is everyone beat down? Is everyone good? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Everyone, yeah. The, the people think the beatings ensued. Are you guys, um, you guys get beat often? No. Yes, you guys get beat often. It's a wild house here. You don't get beat. Not like physically. Not physically beat, but it is a wild, wild environment. These are some very, um, you know, when my mom said that, uh, I, I remember irritating her, and, you know, she's sitting there, and she points off at me and says, boy, I hope you have three just like yourself. And uh, we were like, ha and I ended up with three just like myself. So what's funny is the other day when they were uh, – uh, they, my blood had boiled to the top of my head. I'm like, ha, I hope you have five just like you guys. So I'm passing on the uh, thing. So I might end up with like 15 grandkids at some time. But I hope that you guys have the most amazing parenting world. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I've really enjoyed it. It's just, it's been a, um, it's, it's trials and tribulations, right? It's not something, there's no parenting book. There's no understanding of how you're supposed to do stuff. And, and oftentimes, Figuring out the, the future, it comes from understanding the past. And when you are, when you have 2020 vision forward, sometimes you lose your vision out back. And so you got, you got to wait. Some things aren't great. Now, does anyone have a joke? Anyone have any jungle stories? Jade, any, any jungle stories? Uh, nothing. Any joke? Did you get a joke? No. Uh, you didn't even get a joke? I told you yesterday to get a joke. Yeah. I hate playing. Your mom told you that. Did you have one? I have a joke. What do you got? What's lighter than blue? What's a lighter than blue? What's lighter than blue? Lighter than blue. Know, yeah. Hold on, hold on. What's lighter than blue? This is a joke, though, so it's got to be funny. Hold on, let's see if we can figure this one out. I know the answer. Don't say it. Wait, wait. I haven't figured out. What is lighter than... Do you know this one? All right, hold on. Figure it out. What is it, Kate? What is white? It? What is it? Lighter. Lighter. Lighter as in lighter. weight or as in the color? Like lighter? What do you... I can't say. Like, hold on. Like what is red. lighter than blue is the joke? We white. Might... Probably white. Or light blue. Light blue. <laughs> light blue. <laughs> That was too easy. That was just, that was too thick. I had another one that Eli made up a little while ago. And, I, you know, the, the question is, if two cows are fighting, do we still call it a beef? Is that the... <laughs> How did I made that one up? You didn't make that up? I, I think, you, I think you told me that joke. Didn't you tell me that joke? Yeah, I think You're the one that told me that joke. I thought you made it up. I don't think I came up with that, though. Uh, I, I thought it was pretty good. All right, well, we wasted a ton of time explaining why the kids get beat uh, as often as they do. And they don't, but... Um, they do. So here we go. As far as Joshua goes. It's not like uh, Paul now. Huh? It's not like Paul now. Paul now, yeah. Uh, I wish that I didn't do what I did when I have to strike the kids when they when they, they get bad. No, I and the kids don't get struck, guys. So don't get all crazy on this whole thing. We're just hanging out. Um, if anybody has ever successfully raised a full family where everybody grows up and nobody ever moves away, and you guys have a guidebook for it, let me know. Because we're, uh, we're in this situation, and these kids have a home here for as long as ever. In fact, it is their home. So, um, two are 20 and one is 17. Yeah, two are 20 and one is 17. So um, that is uh, where the kids grow up, and you all become like a little tiny uh, quorum. And I'd never found a guidebook for how to uh, make that happen and live in peace and harmony. I'm still trying to figure that out. And I'm, a, I'm an only child, so I, I, don't have, uh, I don't have the experience with brotherhood. So it, it, it blows my mind how brothers are. 
But I guess there's there's love da- somewhere deep in the brotherhood. Is that right? Yeah, somewhere. Is there? All right. Well, here we go. This is Yah's scriptures, guys. This is the, the hard scriptures that is available. $64. It is the cheapest book you will ever find anywhere. 103 um, books in this. Hopefully February, late February, March is when the delivery will be into the United States of America and at which point we will start getting these books out to everybody. We really, really appreciate everybody who has placed an order for it. Guys, it is a limited edition. It, we don't know if we'll get more than 1,000. We do order 1,000. There's, there's a chunk of them that are gone already. If you guys would like this, this is the, your opportunity. The description is always in the description how you can do it. Now, for anybody who cannot, this is the PDF. Jobs, why are you smiling? You said the description is in the description. The link to the description is in the description. Thanks, kids. I appreciate that voice. Uh, keep me, keep, keep your old timer, my dad on, on thing. Cade was so out of it, he didn't catch it. Now he's just no, laughing. Caught, I caught oh, it. you caught it. He looked at me and like, he always looked at me. <laughs> Sometimes it's the kids versus the, the old men in this house, but uh, you know, it's uh, I, I need I need some chaperones as 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 I get older. I think. For those who are unable to purchase them and don't want to, which you don't need to, um, they're absolutely free. Every version there is. And uh, Ms. Nicole did not get the other version out. Um, and she wanted to completely beat me senseless yesterday because, um, and I'll show you guys w- what I mean here shortly. But she didn't get it out because she had to redo her PDF completely again. Because uh, I just, I was, I'm blind, I'm old, and I can't really see it real well. So there's that. Um, and I will get that out later. To you guys, the Apocrypha is right here as well. Now, also, some amazing stuff for those of you who use eSword. Yah Scriptures is now available for all of eSword. Um, big big shouts to Eli, woo, 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 who uh, got it done, um, who finally got that out to everybody. Um, and you can download it for iOS and for Android. It's absolutely free of charge. The PC version is there. If you guys have any kind of problems at all, let us know. Now, this is why we are getting into this. This is a really long intro. Guys, it's already 11 minutes and we haven't even started. Okay, good thing it's a short thing. This is what I'm talking about right here is this is why I got in a lot of trouble. I'm, I'm old, my eyes are feeble. Not that old, but my eyes are definitely feeble. Um, and I, I couldn't read this real well yesterday. So I, when I was trying to read this with y'all, uh, I just couldn't read it. And I'm going to attempt to do this again because I'm not going to swap this version out, even though Miss Nicole gave me a different version. But what we're doing on the PDF is we're bringing this in a bit. So the word, so it's not so far out there. And then she got this part right here that was, uh, she says I have OCD, but where Yahusha was outside the borders, that is now all fixed in this final version. So hopefully we'll see that today, and it is simply amazing. All right, anybody, give me a quick um, recap. Where are we at to this point before we hit chapter 23? The Israelites got all their land separated. They figured out everything. They're all settling in. Some places left the giants. Some places kept. Some places kept them around as part of their people. This is all horrible things they should they should not have done, um, but they did. But uh, some places killed them. Some places got rid of them, and uh, they're they're all moving in. They're all in the promised land. And then the people on the other other side, from Reuben and Gad and the half tribe Manasseh, right. they all built an altar. They all, and then sent Phineas down because they're like, "Why are you building altars? We have priests. You're not ordained to do this." Like, no, no, it's just it's just a memorial. So they're just showing the children of our generations that uh, for this reason we built this. Remember, y'all. Bring out the Phineas. Let's take care of this. Okay, here we go. 23. This is serious. Phineas yeah, gets on the horse. Yeah, exactly. They don't mess around with Phineas. They know, they know who shish kebabs people. Okay, 23. And it came to be a long time after Yahuwah had given rest to Yisrael from all their enemies round about. The Yahushua was old, advanced in years. And Yahushua called for all Yisrael, and for their elders, and for their heads, and for their judges, and for their officers, and said to them, I am old, advanced in years. And you, you have seen all that Yahuwah your Elohim has done to all these nations because of you. For Yahuwah your Elohim is he who is fighting for you. See, I have divided to you by lot these nations that remain to be an inheritance for your tribes. From the Yardim, with all their nations that I have cut off as far as the great sea westward. And Yahuwah, your Elohim, thrust them out from before you and shall drive them out from before you. And you shall possess their land as Yahuwah, your Elohim, has promised you. And you shall be very strong to guard and to do all that is written in the book of the Torah of Moshe, so as not to turn aside from it, right or left. And again, you know, all of our great forefathers, all of the great Moshe, from the, from the, before he ended up, he's like, well, if you will just do everything that is in this Torah, it'll all be good. Right? Yahuwah told us this, right? If you will only do this, 
Adam told his kids this, right? Uh, if you will only guard the laws, do what is written, uh, take care of this, right? And this is what has been from the beginning of the book to the end of the book. It is all about obeying the laws, statutes, and commandments of our creator. It's this, this whole little weak um, Christianity uh, doctrine. It's just, it's not even lukewarm. It's, it's just really, it's ice cold. And, you know, it's like nobody really gives a rip about the laws, statutes, and commandments of our creator. Yet it has been given to us warning after warning after warning after warning. We've all been told this. So continuing on. So as not to turn to the end of six. So as not to turn aside from it right or left. So as not to go in among these nations, these who remain among you, and make no mention of the name of their mighty ones nor swear by, nor serve them, nor bow down to them, but cling to Yahuwah, your Elohim, as you have done to this day. For Yahuwah has driven out from before you great and strong nations. As for you, no one has stood against you to this day. One man of you put a thousand to flight, for Yahuwah, your Elohim, is he who is fighting for you, as he has promised you. And again, this is the same promise that goes to all of us today. The world is a wild place. It's a woolly place. People are to be, un they're just, they're, it's not a real trusting place, right? You cannot trust what people do because the people just don't care about you. They don't care about your family. And so it's, we need to understand that our creator fights for us, that we're not alone. And even though that we are in a world where Torah keeping is very, very rare, that's why you know that our creator fights for us through everything. Okay. Um, this is 12, right? I believe so. Uh, and you shall diligently, I'll do 11 again, and you shall diligently guard yourselves to love Yahuwah, your Elohim. But if you do turn back at all and cling to the remnant of these nations, these that remain among you and intermarry with them and go into them and they to you, know for certain that Yahuwah, your Elohim, shall no longer drive these nations out from before you. And they shall be snares and traps to you and a whip on your sides and thorns in your eyes until you perish from this good land which Yahuwah, your Elohim, has given you. And see, this day, I am going the way of all the earth. And you know in all your hearts and in all your beings that not one word has failed of all the good words which Yahuwah your Elohim spoke concerning you. All of it has come to you, and not one word of them has failed. And it shall be that as every good word has come upon you which Yahuwah your Elohim promised you, so Yahuwah brings upon you every evil word until he has destroyed you from the good land which Yahuwah your Elohim has given you. When you transgress... The covenant of Yahuwah your Elohim, which he commanded you, and shall go and serve other mighty ones, and bow down to them. And the displeasure of Yahuwah shall burn against you, and you shall perish quickly from the good land which he has given you. Now, I am going to go out on a limb. It's probably not too far out on a limb, but I'm going to say that if you are one of these people that have a Christmas tree in your house, and you allow your kids, first and foremost, a Christmas tree in your house is, is satanic. You shouldn't be doing that. But if you're sitting there getting on your knees, and I remember this as a child, Christmas Eve, December 24th is when my parents always opened, my mom and my stepdad always opened the gifts, right? And we would get on our knees under the Christmas tree and start pulling out packages. We would get on our knees, and that was our, um, that's our lowercase Elohim. The, the God of the Christian church is all of these festivals, things like this. This is all Satanism. When we are, have a Christmas tree, when we are on our knees to other Elohim, we are doing exactly what this says we should not do. And so it starts at things like Christmas. If we're still sitting there decking the halls and, and doing all of that Christmas stuff, it is satanic and you are involved in a satanic ritual. You're in a, a ritual yourself. And even though you're not bloodletting or any of the other great evil that happens all this time, you are involved in a satanic ritual. And so this is why we are called to separate ourselves from this. This is why we are supposed to be different than everybody else. Why, why we're called to be out of the world. And if we are doing all this great evil, we are part of the world. We're not going to make the kingdom. So with that, hopefully you guys are good. Much love to everybody out there. Huge much love to all my kids here, to those who uh, think that uh, I'm just a monster uh, the way the kids are. Um, just know that I love them very much or I would not have risked everything we have to drive out of the United States to keep them out of that cesspool. So with that, much love to everybody. All right. All right. Have a good day.